be alive. Kill him. Do whatever it takes. If left alone, he will prove a threat to my empire. As you wish. And what should be done about the end Magnus presumed to be on this island? Fool, lower your voice. And you and you his magical shield is powerful enough to curb any frontal assaults. And there is little hope of Corellia agreeing with my plans. No matter. Concentrate on eliminating that winged mongrel. I will consider alternative approaches to securing this particular and Magnus. As you wish, your magnificence. But why would that girl be here? It is not like Giacomo to fail me thus. What could he be up to? Then, I've read the letter from King Ladikan, and his points are well taken. I thought that voice acting was her in character playing along. Uh, what's the word? Superciliously along with Emperor Gelderblain, but no, that is just how she speaks. However, Anuanue cannot agree to help another nation face the might of the Empire. Oh, why not, Your Highness? We, the people of Anuanue, are opposed to any and all forms of strife. In other words, you're a pussy. We have a long-standing tradition of remaining neutral towards the other islands. A tradition that we refuse to change. Sounds nice on paper, I'll give you that. Staying nice and fair while the whole world falls apart around you. You were warned to hold your tongue. Look, you've already established that you're a bunch of wimps. We're not going to back down from you, are we? Besides, I've never heard of any legend telling of a cursed power sealed in this land. It's not that I don't trust you. But I'm not sure how much of your story I can take as credible. The people of Anuanue have followed one simple teaching for generations. Sing with the celestial tree. Dance when its flowers bloom. That is all. That is... That is as, an, as a national doctrine as a way of life every 30 years that's stupid sing with the celestial tree dance when its flowers bloom under the current circumstances Anuanue cannot make any rash decisions I understand Pass my regards to King Ladikan. There's not much else we can do for now. Pathetic, wimpy simpletons, the whole island. Our nation hasn't been involved in a conflict for quite some time. Almost none of my people can use a weapon, let alone fight. I hope you can understand that. Well, maybe don't tell us that if you're trying to threaten us into not saying things. Stupid tribe of dimwits. But please don't blame Queen Corellia. It pains her to make this decision, but it's for the good of the nation. We're very sorry, but I must ask you to, to leave now. We're sorry we can't work together with you. We're the new and new cavaliers. We serve only Queen Corellia. We cannot endanger the lives of Queen Corellia and her people. Please understand our position. You lady, Zena was it? How, how can we know your story is worthy of trust? 
what you told us is very different from what Emperor Gelderblame has to say. Excuse me, did you say your name was... Callus? Yeah? Why? It's nothing, nothing important. Take care of yourselves. I haven't finished talking to him yet. The game did that. We're sorry, but the meeting is over. You're not allowed in here. Please leave. Oh, I'm sorry about that, everybody. And we could easily kill them. Easily. We probably should, if I'm honest. And forgive my incidents, I did not realise you carried a private letter from King Ladakhan. Please come in. Imperial ships were seen heading for Sidel Sud and Deirdim, as the peace between these nations and the Empire fallen apart. Yeah, I'm sorry. I see you possess a letter of introduction. I I'm, I'm sorry to ask this, but what kind of person is Queen Corellia? To be honest, I've only seen her from a distance. She's a pathetic... Spineless wimp. That's who Queen Corellia is. We could invade this uh, whole island, just the four of us, I reckon. I don't know if it would serve as, as a colony. I mean, we could use them as, as fodder in the war. But I think, firstly, it's sending the wrong message. And secondly, I think they'd be rubbish anyway. I envy the young people. They seem to be having a great time. I saw a group of them jumping into the river for fun. I wonder where that group took off to. Down river, probably. So, what now? Going back empty-handed ain't an option. I agree. Finding the Emperor here wasn't exactly reassuring. Despite what Queen Corellia told us, it seems likely that one of the End Magnus is indeed here. Oh yeah, she's thick as well, I forgot Maybe that. we could find it on our own. Huh. More volunteer work. What would you do? I'd invade the fucking island. But we better find the Magnus first. Alright, you say so. So, where should we start looking? You all look very troubled about something. What's the matter? Well, it's nothing, really. We're just looking for something. Well, whatever you're looking for, you could try visiting the ancient library. Magic. It's been abandoned for quite a while, but I hear one of the witches has gone back there recently. I'm sure she could point you in the right direction. One of the witches? Are you sure? Sounds promising. Where is this library? It's on the hill to the east of Jenny. Just go along the road and I'm sure you'll find it. The only lead we have might be a good place to start. Yes, let's. Thank you very much for your help. My pleasure. Well, if this doesn't scream trap, nothing does. Let's get going.
we've got so many enemies. King Ladakhan, he's an ally. But the Mayor of Celebri, enemy. Rodolfo of Diadem, enemy. Queen Corellia, stupid and weak. There are very few people in power in the world that are allies. And then you've got the woman with the knee-high green boot and the, the thigh-high boot. She must be evil. Looks evil. Still, right now, the only lead we've got is getting to this witch. We've got to race Emperor Gelderblame there. Let's get going. Should I talk to people? I should probably talk to people. I don't think I have any business at the church, do I? I'm pretty sure I don't. I hope that cut wasn't too jarring. Back now. We are, if I sound slightly different, it's because I had another game with Hackmaster and changed my setup. Not a lot. But I'm trying to make it a bit better for you guys. His aura was quite unusual. It was as if he was surrounded by the memories of someone very dear. A long-forgotten lullaby. Staying nice and fair while the whole world falls apart? He may be right. The witches have disappeared and the celestial tree has yet to bloom. A new new is faltering slowly but surely as a great oak turns to dust, slowly decaying over the years. If their claims are true, in time we must shed our share of tears and blood. As the planet weeps and bleeds, so will the people of Anuanue. Fate can be so unforgiving, cruel and merciless, crushing all those that pass under her heel. Would have been nice if you uh, had expressed some of those opinions to me, rather than being a massive wimp. I wonder if I can... No, I don't think I'll be able to go see her again. We can go then to the ancient library of magic. Or hollow hollow jungle west end. But I'm not in the mood for play right now. Let's go to the library of magic. Ancient Library of Magic. You guys really think there's a witch in this place? I guess there's only one way to find out. That thing does actually look quite tough. Not gonna lie. And that secret wand looks very difficult to get. Oh, I see. Oop! You're dead! Well, with Fastest Man, I'm going to guess they don't like light magic. Yeah. Ooh, ah, oh, I'll oh, finish it. Yeah, they don't like light magic. Oh, that's fast. And I'm doing, um, obviously I'm doing dark magic, as a sensible. Yeah, they take dark resistance. 
That's not a sentence. resistance as well. Sense and dead are always weak to fire. Huh. Loser. Oh, I'm going to take the Ray of Truth. However, we could have taken the Skeleton Warrior, a wicked ghost residing in the bones of a dead human. It's not possessed with hateful strength and bitterness, so it shouldn't be hard to beat. Habitat, ancient library of magic. Tattered note says, return their keys to the appropriate spots. It doesn't say that, that's what I said because I can't read. Hey, there's a key on this shelf. It has a geography section tag attached to it. Some spots are reserved for other keys, but I don't see them anywhere. Someone must have forgotten to put them back. Uh, that might come in handy. Let's just borrow it for a little while. You've obtained a valuable item, geography section key. There are some old notebooks covered with dust. Overdue Books is written on the cover of one of them. Whoa, we didn't come here to read old notebooks, did we? Whales in the Ocean, Name, Soala Razan, Address, Celebrai. Islands Floating in the Ocean, Name, Rakeen France, Address, Balakanoir. Excitement Diary, Name, Pastor Kalansky. Address, Komo Mai. Well, are you done? Let's go somewhere else. We did learn the name of a new town, I guess. Maybe I need more keys to interact with that, do you think? Sony ones. But currently, this game keeps seems quite happy reading this disc, so I think I'll just leave it alone. I can always try a different one when we get on to disc 2. Don't know how long that'll be. Never use these things. Chance to cure flames. Strawberries. Big, fresh, juicy strawberries. Great when squeezed over shaved ice or as a topping for sugar tarts. Use them for various recipes. We'll take the photo. We'll take the money. You obtained a Magnus. Zite robe. Looked like a phantom. Alright, how do I interact with that spider then? I don't think I do. Guessing history section. Wow, this seal was created over a hundred years ago. I sense a very powerful magic. This is the type of spell is usually cast on two objects. Those two objects must be brought together to break the spell. I mean, like this key. 
this might be the right key for it. Let's try it. It didn't work. Probably because it's the geography section key, Callus and Muffet. At least I understood that puzzle better than Callus did. I'm not sure that's a great selling point on my LP skills. A bright red bookshelf with no books in it. You can probably push it forward if there's nothing behind it. I'll leave it alone for now. No, I don't think I'll be able to see that. I have a bad feeling about this. Ooh, are they better than me? It doesn't look like it. Looking at the numbers, I thought I was making myself a nice little straight. No. Ah, this um, might be quite bad then. Is that all you got? If they can summon them. Yeah. Might be bad. We might be in over our head. Oh, there's no point in you targeting one because you can kill one on your own. Except not if you don't have any spells because we've got loads of defensive items and there's three of us, so the chance of you getting attacked is generally pretty low. Keep attacking it. Is that all? Oh, it really did take my man seriously there. Dark is just not good. Wind the start. Go with that, go with that, go with that. Yeah. You could have killed them on your own as well. Goodness sake. So, really defend. I was more luck than judgment. anything to do with it. Crystal Mail, that is actually quite good and a number of characters can use it. This expensive suit of armour crafted from natural quartz crystals provides ample protection, yet its weight restricts use to those familiar with heavy armour. Apparently I've got three familiar with that and I'm going to take it. So we do have a puzzle piece we can move here. I don't really see anywhere else for us to go. It's going to make us sound crazy. I kind of get Resident Evil vibes. The world's beginning. Many people think that the world has always floated in the air. 
Yet documents exist that claim the world was on the ground a millennium ago. Clues to unlocking the mystery of the world's beginnings may be hidden in that era. Encyclopedia of the world's most interesting plants. It has been claimed that a very mystical garden exists in a land that floats in the air of another dimension. There is a plant that grows there. When it is pulled out from the ground it disappears. Almost as if the plant was an illusion. There's a plant in Planescape. I can't remember what it's called. The books, not the game. I've not played the game. That exists between... It grows on the negative energy plane. And if I remember rightly, it grows on the outside of one of the faction's headquarters in Sigil because it kind of crosses the, the two planes. Is that right? I can't remember. Encycl oh, I've read that. Books with difficult looking titles are stacked up and stored here. There's one book with a weird title called We're Easy Going. Ah, Mimic. Tough. I think we'll need some fire on these, do you? Is there any difference between them? Start boss. Takes extra damage from green for some reason, but not from light. Strange. a lot of damage to be honest. I think I'm better supposed to grab the green one. I think that's more of a boss than the others. Oh, you're photogenic! everything. There's fire we want, really. Oh, I can't get some elements. Dark. Oh, can't see which colours they are because they're not developed yet. We could take a peach. Its fuzz is soft to the touch. This peach is juicy and sweet. It's larger than any peach you've ever seen. A baby could practically fit inside. We could take an old evil book made with more evil with the evil power. Great evil power dwelled evilly in a strong evil book, but now it's really, really evil. I quite like the flavour text. 
or we can take a cursed spellbook. An old spellbook animated by the powers of darkness. It eats small animals and insects. Digestive system unknown. I'm going to take the cursed grimoire, even though I think the cursed spellbook is the green one. I like the flavour text on the black one. Nothing particularly interesting seems to be on this bookshelf. We have a key with a tag on that says philosophy section on the dusty floor. You obtained a Magnus, Zafuan Zandor. Finisher for somebody. Well, they've respawned. Okay, I'll fight you then. So we can either take a flame helmet, forged using fire from lava pits deep underground. This helmet offers protection both from physical and freezing attacks. Long use can cause decreased alertness and or loss of hair. For a photo, I'm going to take the flame helmet. That's a history section at the top, we know that. Okay, this is quite interesting. We've got the option to take chump change. Just a few measly coins that even a child would take the time to pick up. Who knows, hang on to them in a while, and they might become collector's items. So maybe these turn into doubloons or something. So let's take these, at the very least they do attack 16, which honestly is better filler than hunting knives. And probably fishing rods. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. I haven't saved- oh, you fucking thing! You've been so good. Well, that's the end of the episode. I'm really annoyed because I actually got some really sick cards on my way here. For fuck's sake. So I could either try this disc in my other burner. Or I could try another disc. I'm going to try one of the same discs in my other um, DVD writer, I think. Or I could try my other GameCube even. I've got so many options now. I'm going to keep this GameCube and try the same disc in my other disc drive. But this will be the end of the episode. I'll try and work my way back here. Thank you for watching. Come back next episode of Batten Kytos.